Uh, you guys are 4-1. and one. I know a lot of talk went into the beginning of the schedule with five teams that played in last year's NCAA tournament. Uh, how would you assess where you're at early on? Um, you know, we coming into the season, we knew it was going to be a tough schedule. You know, we didn't know if we would be 4-1, and one, what our record would be at this point. But we're just really proud of how far this team's grown since that kentucky Wesleyan game to now. I think we're coming together on offense and we're playing, taking pride in defense and playing really hard. So really pleased with how we're playing right now. But we still have a lot that we can improve on and grow up on. What do you think the biggest difference is between that kentucky Wesleyan exhibition and uh, here I think there's just more of a sense of urgency on the defensive end. I think we're taking more pride in defense and just trying to play, put more effort on the defensive end of the ball. Uh, for two, the bench has been huge the last couple of games, um, and then you especially tonight. How much pride do you guys take in it coming off the bench? Because I know Coach Collins has talked about starting from 0-0 zero, zero when you guys come in. Well, it's not easy, you know, to come off the bench because, first of all, you're going to be cold and then, you know, you're not ready and all of that. But, you know, like as a player, you just have to be prepared for everything, you know. And we have the support from our coaches and our teammates that always say, you know, be ready because, like, everybody, you know, have to do something, you know, to help the team. And I think, like, we do really good, you know, of just pushing each other, you know, and helping each other to get where we are right now. Coach talked a lot about this Little Rock team and their defense and how they like to kind of grind out possessions but you guys are still able to put up uh, 77 points tonight, I believe. What do you owe that success to? Uh, you know, it wasn't an easy 77 points. We really had a grind on the offensive end. You know, they're very physical defensively. They're a really sound defensive team. So I think we just credit to, we did a good job of just kind of attacking them off the dribble, moving the ball, and we kind of helped each other to get each other open shots. Uh, a lot of high percentage looks too. I think 48 points in the paint and early on 12 of the first 15 points in the paint. Uh, how important was that tag? Down you know, it's very important. When you get in the paint, you already know it's going to be a good shot, high percentage shot. So, you know, Coach Collins always tells us don't fall in love with that three point shot, attack the paint. That's where the money is, and that's what we're just trying to do every game is get inside the paint there and get some buckets. Uh, for two, what do you think of that, uh, just attacking the paint? Well, I think we did a great job of answering that question, and you know it wasn't uh, it was hard, you know, for the post player to get the ball inside and do what we can do because there was, you know. Um, um, two person was coming, so you know we just had to play smart, and then, yeah. Go on for both of you guys. It was a two point game at halftime, and obviously the second half you blow it open and wound up winning in almost twenty. What was the difference on the court, both of you, that you saw between the first half and the second? You know, at halftime, Coach Collins told us that this was going to be a grinded out game, that we had to be not only physically tough, but mentally tough, and we had to try to out-tough them. And I think that was the mindset that we took in the second half, which was different than what we had in the first half. So I think we just came out with a tougher mindset and just kind of came out saying, hey, we're just going to outwork you guys and try to get this win. Right. And I think, like, um, everybody was involved. Everybody was giving 100% because, you know, what coach say, like, um, inside the locker. So we just had to give our best. And then everybody did a great job of, you know, encouraging, running, talking, and all of that. You know, that okay. one. Oh, Go ahead. Got, one, got one more for guests. Um, it had been a week since you played the last. <laughs> you won three straight going into the past weeks, uh, I guess, off, off time. Uh, how do you approach going into a week where you don't have the games to play until seven days after when like you have last Sunday? Um, you kind of use it as a week to recover. You know, we had three tough games before this one, so you kind of use it to get your body some rest and get ready for this upcoming one. You also do it just to prepare and sharpen up on some things that we could have done better from those previous games. Yeah, I think as we say, you know, it's going to be a great time for us to enjoy ourselves, you know. <laughs> get recovery as we say you know and just keep working hard because it's going to be some other tough game you know on the road so just have to do you know Little Rock goes on a little bit of a run to end the um, second quarter uh, going into halftime um, I believe you guys had five turnovers there during their run at the end there and I know that's kind of been a, a period for you guys where teams have been able to catch up going back to that Mercer game is there anything about the second quarter that you're seeing that's leading to that um, I don't really know if there's anything specific that I could say point out to it, but I just think going into that, like that second quarter at Mercer and tonight, we just kind of lost our focus and kind of let them just kind of out, be more tough than us and out physical play us. So we had to kind of really lock in on the defensive end. Uh, this coming week, you guys are heading to California. Uh, what are you looking forward to out there, both in terms of basketball and the trip in general? No, I've never been to California, so I was excited to kind of go out there and see what it's like out on the West Coast and excited to play some good competition. Yeah, I can't wait. You know, that's my first trip. So, yeah, we're going to enjoy it and then 
get the dub. That's right. <laughs> Thank you guys.